Hi y'all, I thought you might be interested in knowing a little bit more about my background and why I love to turn wood. Um, my background, is I, was a, I was a Boy Scout, I learned the basics of using a pocket knife, uh, cutting neckerchief slides, uh, learned the value of hard work and just showing up by delivering newspapers on a bicycle for a number of years before I went off to uh, Auburn University in which after a couple of false starts uh, with majors such as physics and speech, I finally uh, got a degree in economics with a, uh, a, a minor in, in math and, and speech. Uh, I guess my math background uh, caused the Army to think I might be a good artillery officer uh, after I got commissioned in ROTC. Uh, I married my wife, Barbara, who I dated in high school, and we went off to Germany where I served on, <coughs> excuse me, active duty for a couple of years in an artillery unit and then after we came back we went to the University of Alabama and we both got our uh, master's degrees, mine in business and hers in, in special education. I stayed in the, active in the Army Reserves which left me little time for, for hobbies and, and frankly a little time for raising a family but that's another story. With the exception of a short stint as a general's aide, almost all of my time in the active Army Reserve was involved in, in uh, uh, training or, or teaching, and I finished my career as an adjunct faculty member for the U.S. Army Command of General Staff College. Uh, I'm pretty good at problem solving and I developed some basic skills of, of using, using hand tools to, for DIY projects, fixing things around the house. I tend to be better with analysis and data and things than, than with people. It took me a, uh, my whole career to, to finally figure that out. I finished my career as a business analyst involved in large human resource benefit and payroll projects and one of my, my clients described me as intense and I think that's probably a pretty good description. Between my civilian job, Army Reserve duty and family, I, I didn't have much opportunity for a, a hobby. I guess you'd say the Army Reserves was my hobby, but I did find, find some time for uh, uh, League, league tennis. My wife and I both played in uh, tennis league for about 35 years until health issues kind of sidelined both of us. My wife was always the, the better, better player and I was rarely able to beat her. I was able to retire before age 60 so finally had time for a hobby. Why did wood turning ring my bell? Well there's several reasons. Uh, first I did have some uh, interest in general woodworking and it was always comfortable with using hand tools. Uh, I generally uh, enjoyed the DIY projects I did around the house. Wood turning say, takes some, some knowledge and I always enjoyed learning. If you just want to listen to music, you can turn on the radio, but if you want to play, if you want to make music, you've got to learn to play an instrument and that means hours and hours of, of practice and, and I enjoyed practicing wood turning uh, to, build, to build those skills. Wood turning provides instant gratification. Uh, there are very few projects that I turn that take more than, a, than an hour or two to complete compared to say flat work or general woodworking where you've got a shop full of cabinets or a larger projects that may, may take you weeks. Wood turning can be a, a solitary uh, hobby where you're spending a lot of time by yourself in the shop but it also gives you opportunity to socialize and, and meet with others. Uh, if you're an introvert like me, uh, spending time by yourself is, is maybe a good thing. Uh, but from the beginning, I was a member of wood turning clubs, wood turning club, and then later two, and then later three. And I always tended, because Atlanta is kind of spread out, I did have a tendency to, to want to carpool to the different meetings. So that was an opportunity to socialize and learn from other people that had more experience than me while we were driving to or from a meeting. My main club, the Chattahoochee Wood Turners, meets out in, the, out in the country, and there's no place anywhere at convenient driving distance to grab a bite to eat. So uh, early on, in order to, to make it easier for people to come straight to work, uh, from work to the club meeting without having an opportunity to get something to eat, they provided a light meal, maybe pizza, Subway sandwiches, and, and maybe a little more elaborate meal than that when we, when we had a, a member that, that enjoyed cooking. So that hour before the, the, the formal meeting started was a great opportunity to socialize, meet with other people, and, and uh, give, give critique on your, your turnings or to ask questions. Most clubs have some type of a Christmas party, another great opportunity to socialize, sometimes uh, a picnic where there might be a uh, mini lay set up for somebody to do some informal uh, demonstration and another opportunity to kind of hang out. 
Another great opportunity for socializing is uh, with turning symposiums. It is a weekend event where you've got a vendor fair area where you can buy tools and nonstop demonstrations uh, the entire weekend. And I was able to participate in a number of those because we had two of them in, in North Georgia. If you're not familiar with what a symposium is, I'll have a link to a video up above it, uh, where I did a, a video while I was attending one. Wood turnings always provide an opportunity for learning. Initially, I went to symposiums to, to learn more about wood turning, but then as I got more and more into it, it became an opportunity for more socialization, and I look forward to hanging out with, with old friends and acquaintances as much as I did going to the, see the, the demonstrators, many of which I'd seen uh, multiple times before. Some of the things that I've learned, you know, it's everything from, from learning to use a lathe, using a bandsaw, using a chainsaw, tool techniques and tool control, characteristics of wood, learning how to recognize different trees based on bark, leaves, and grain, which kind of takes me back to my scout days at uh, learning those same activities at, at summer camp. You learn sanding and finishing techniques. You learn to create something beautiful. I have very little creative or artistic ability, but you know, I have learned an awful lot from wood turning, and it's everything from uh, basic rules like continuous curve, rule of thirds, uh, the fire or golden mean, learning about flow, color, negative space. There are multiple wood turning clubs in Atlanta which provide me lots of opportunity to watch world class turners demonstrate and ask questions uh, over the, the past 15 years. Other learning opportunities came about only because of wood turning, even though they're only tangential related, and that, that includes creating a WordPress website, making video wood turning tutorials. My channel now has over 600 wood turning tutorials. Making a video generally involves a series of pre-production tasks that I enjoy such as planning a topic and researching it. I enjoy shooting the project and the editorial process as well as all the post-production tasks involved in posting the final video. I thoroughly enjoy reading comments from you viewers as well as responding to questions that might help a novice turner. I enjoy doing interactive remote demonstrations from my shop to clubs across the United States, Canada, and the UK. I credit Alan Zenreich who encouraged me to consider doing these interactive remote demos. He pointed out that the same setup I need for these remote presentations would also allow me to increase the production quality of my videos. And this helped me justify the expense of a new more powerful laptop, new audio and video equipment, specialized software. And he provided hours of Zoom meetings to help me through the process. As a bit of a tech nerd, I enjoyed the complex problem solving and learning involved in the computer and software learning starting back in 2018. So when COVID hit, I was one of just a handful of remote demonstrators who could immediately work with clubs uh, across the country to keep their programs alive over Zoom. I already had the equipment I needed then when there was a huge demand and severe supply constraints for that type of equipment when COVID hit and virtual meetings were the only op options for folks who could not meet in person, and kids who had to learn from home. And my experience with Zoom helped me to set up virtual meetings in my Sunday school class and men's group at church during the lockdown period when we could not safely meet in person. And that same Zoom experience enabled me to have virtual meetings with friends and family as well. In 2020, that same Zoom experience allowed me to facilitate virtual training sessions with my new AARP tax counselors as I assumed a new role as district training coordinator for a program that provides preparation of free tax returns for seniors and low-income taxpayers. None of this would have been possible without my wood turning demonstrator experience. Thanks again to Alan Z for all of, this, all of his support for me and all of the other remote demonstrators who jumped on the bandwagon after COVID hit. I enjoy very much participating in the weekly online Lancaster Wood Turners Coffee Hour hosted by John Kelsey. John edited one of my first articles for American Wood Turner. I guess I've been meeting with them almost uh, uh, weekly for about two years. Wood turning gave me the opportunity to write a, a dozen or more articles on wood turning. I'd never published anything before I retired. I've enjoyed so much being able to give away wood turned objects to friends and family members and volunteers I work with and charities for fundraising. Most folks marvel at and really appreciate the time and skill that goes into one of our wood turnings. Wood turning has always provided me opportunities to teach, both as a demonstrator and conducting hands-on workshops for clubs. 
I regularly provide hands-on instruction to turners in my shop. So if you're interested, uh, information is on my website. Okay, that's a long explanation of why I like wood turning. Why do you like wood turning? Leave a comment in the notes below. And remember, y'all stay safe. Come on back here. Wrap. Oh my god, my